What's up guys, uh, this is for J-Man Thunder 1, um, just stuff on my carnivorous plants, you know, pretty much. So, this is the Venus flytrap, really, you shouldn't keep any, uh, carnivorous plants in terrariums, really, because they can grow fungus in the roots, and it can totally kill the plant. So one reason your plant might be dying in a terrarium is because of the fungus, but you can easily treat that with fungicides because they're usually safe. But they're getting, you know, they're starting to flower and everything. So that's good. And just none of them are closing. And I can't figure that out. And that's the only bad thing. But I don't really care right now. I'm just, I care in the summer, really. This is my uh, pendicula. Some me Mexican butterwort. And, um, they, they're pretty cool plants. They get just, the leaves get really sticky. And, uh, right there, I'm doing some cuttings. So, this is a very awesome plant. This is the Nepenthes lowii. Um, it's pretty insane. This one grown right there. Or, grown pretty much. Grown right there. You know, I just gotta keep hum high humidity on this one. And then this is my Nepenthes ventrata. Um, right now it only has one because I just figure out a good place to put the sun on it, which is right here. I used to keep it down here and all my plants down there, but it's kind of getting blocked right, you know, from right here and everything. And uh, so I only keep them in this one. I water them. This one, I get a big all freaking gallon on it and everything and you can see there's tons and tons growing so no matter what this plant is pretty much going to grow keep growing you know even if it gets poor sunlight like it just won't produce pictures and it took me a while to figure that out you know but bunch of bugs down there it's got a couple but i like to feed it in general it gives good nutrients to the soil makes it hope help it to grow but cuttings um uh pretty much are like what you do is you cut a leaf off as close as you can and you put it in the soil or this is at least what i heard of and uh you put it in the soil and it grows into another one of these and yeah and then there's uh, tissue culture, which you, I cannot do here. Like, you can, you can't even do, uh, tissue culture unless you're in a lab. You have to have everything sterilized. And, uh, pretty much what you do is you take, cut a little piece off and you stick it in this, uh, gelatin sort of thing. And there has to be no mi microorganisms at all, otherwise it won't grow. And you take a little piece of it and you stick it into a, uh, thing and you know grows and grows and grows until it gets to a certain you know it gets big enough and you put it into a pot and everything so uh that's pretty much it if you guys have any, have any questions on uh carnivorous plants or can answer why my venus flytrap doesn't close it's not getting enough sun or water i don't know um and if i'm doing my cuttings right um, I'm pretty sure I am. If I ain't, aren't, then just help me out, you know? Alrighty. I'll see you guys later.